the client needs to install 20 POEIP cameras in this building. It should be each piece of the case, right? Since all these cameras are located in the same building, you need a 24-port PoE switch. Put a K5 or K6 Ethernet cables from that PoE switch to all these cameras, then connect these cameras to that PoE switch. That PoE switch will provide the power to all these cameras. Then attach a network video recorder to that switch. The job is done. But the owner just giving a challenge. He wants to preview all these 20 cameras in another building. It's about 1,000 feet between these two buildings. He plans to use a HDMI over fiber converter and connect that converter to the HDMI output of this never video recorder. Then he will have the live view on the second building. It works since he's using a fiber optic cable, it has no problem to reach this distance. But it also creates the issues. Since both buildings share the same video source, one comes from the HDMI output, another comes from the VGA output. If someone is operating the network video recorder in the first building, then the owner will lose the live view. So how we can have the live view for these 20 cameras in these two buildings? Let's find out. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We will have more showcase coming. First, let's take a look at the setup in the first building. We have two POEIP cameras. Those cameras are connecting to this 24 ports POE switch. We can connect the rest of these cameras to these POE ports. This is the Never Video Recorder. It's attached to the data port. There's four SFP slots, which allow us to use the fiber optic cables. We are not going to extend the HDMI output to the second building. Instead, we will use the SFP slot built into this POE switch. Since it's empty, we also need this SFP transceiver. The SFP transceiver will convert the optical signal to the electrical signal. Now let's connect this fiber optic cable to this SFP transceiver. This is the single mode pre-made fiber optic cable. The connector is made in the factory with this pulling eyes. So we can pull the fiber optic cable directly. Let's move to the second locations. We need another never video recorder in the second building. This never video recorder will connect to all these 20 cameras and display the live video on the TV. Now let's set up this never video recorder. First, we need to power up this never video recorder and connect the HDMI cable to the HDMI output of this never video recorder. This is the fiber optic cable carry the signal from the first building, but the never video recorder cannot work with the fiber optic cable directly. We need another device called media converter. The media converter will convert the optical signal to the electrical signal. This is the SFP slot. It's empty, we still need to install one device called SFP transceiver. Now let's attach this media converter to the wall and power up this media converter and connect the cable to this SFP transceiver. Remember we are using the first strand, the take 8 on the first building, we will need to pick the same strand. We can use the single strand to connect these two buildings since it's the BIDI transceiver. It takes different wavelengths to transmit and receive the data. Just one last thing. We need to use this short patch code to link this media converter to the network port our network video recorder. You see the indicators on and now both cameras are live on the TV. We, we can have the TV on both buildings to display these 20 cameras now. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post a message in the comment section below.